Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pact Session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Being baptized in the Holy Spirit, part one. Being baptized in the Holy Spirit, part one. Wow. I've loved to share with you in this online seminar kingdom of god seminar one christian theology reject the purpose of god for themselves two kingdom theology are not taught in your modern day seminaries and churches we begin go to the seminary, go to the service is now in progress. Seminary is now in progress. Wow. This is amazing. Write this down, please. Luke 7 30 NIV. But the Pharisee and expert in the law reject God's purpose for themselves because they have not been baptized by John baptism. Your religious leaders, religious folk, people, religious churches have refused to teach, practice John baptism. Instead, their Nancy Creed is the defining statement of belief of Christianity. Christian denomination, First Council of Nisan, AD 325, held by Emperor Constantine, the doctrine of the Trinity. All Christian churches are a product of Catholicism. They are Catholic. One, the Nancy Creed. Two, the Apostle Creed. Three, and the Trinity. They are the statement of faith of all Christianity. But God never established a religion. God only established a kingdom. Wow. Now we go to the message already in progress. Write this down, please. John 1, 12. Define. The Holy Spirit have been misunderstood by your modern day churches, by Christianity, by Islam, by Hinduism, by Scientology, read, but as many as receive him, to them give he the power or the rights to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. The word sons of God means offspring, descendants. When a king has children, they are royal. They are God's royal family. So the Bible is about a king, a kingdom, and sons and children of a king. <laughs> wow! That's amazing. The word receive, receive means the heart. We means again. So you must receive the Holy Spirit again. 
coming of Jesus to it, that you receive the power of God back in your life. Now, sons of God give you legal rights. Legal rights, it is in every constitution in every country. Heaven is a country. You have the legal, legal rights of citizenship again. Adam become independent. So you now, because of one man's sin, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So man had to receive back again. Many as receive as him to then become the sons of God. Have the religious rights. So all the benefits, all the promises, all the covenant of the kingdom of God. Wow. Now, legal rights is legislation and law. It's rights for citizenship. It gives you legal rights. Legal means liberty, freedom, and personal security of the king. Kingdom government. Wow. But as many as receive him, they gave him give me power to become the sons of God. Now this is not a salvation message. This is a message that you receive back your citizenship in your life. You come back to the family of God. Being alien and foreigner away from heaven. Come back. Wow. Write this down, please. John's statement. See, the Pharisee and religious leader reject this message. Just like your modern day church, your Baptist, your Catholic, your non denomination, your any denomination, your Catholicism, your Islam, they all reject this message. Matthew 5. 11 NIV. I baptize you with water for repentance, but greater one cometh who is more powerful than I. I'm not worthy to lose his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Talking about the Holy Ghost fire baptism. Wow. That it is amazing. The Pharisee, the expert in the law of today now, your modern day Pharisee, your Islam, your Hinduism, your Judaism, your Christianity, the expert in religion, the expert in religion have the spirit of modern day Pharisee. Pharisee reject the purpose for their lives. Did not being baptized by John Baptism. See, Pharisee reject God's purpose for himself by not being baptized by John. John Baptism was tied to repentance and the forgiveness of sin. John the Baptism, Jesus Christ replaced it with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When Paul was at Ephesus, he found a 12 disciple. And Peter preached on Pentecost about repentance and the same baptism of the Holy Ghost. This is kingdom theology. Jesus mentioned the promise of the Father. Wait until you receive the promise of my Father. Wait at Jerusalem till you receive the promise of my Father. Wow, that's amazing. What is the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the baptism with Holy Ghost and fire. Write this down, Acts 19, 1 to 7. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul through the, passed through the inner court, interior, came into Ephesus. He finds some disciple. See, you could be saved for 40 years and 20 years in your church and don't have the Holy Ghost. He finds certain disciples. A disciple is a student, a church member, learner. Find certain learner. Ask them, did you receive the Holy Ghost when you believe? Now, 
See, John 1.12 is about citizenship, coming to know the Lord back again, be reinstated back to the kingdom of God. Now, this message here is about baptism of the Holy Ghost. Different. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? That's the second Acts 19.2 and I read. Have you received the Holy Ghost and you believe? When you believe? Now, you got to ask Christianity that when you go to the altar, have you received the Holy Ghost? You receive a salvation method, but have you received the Holy Ghost? Paul asked them the same question. Have you received the Holy See, John baptism was tied to the Jesus baptism of the Holy Ghost. The answer, no! We have not even heard whether there be any Holy Spirit? Wow! <laughs> wow! Today, many modern day churches not even heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. So Paul asks, What baptism were you baptized? Unto John baptism. John baptism was unto repentance. Told the people that they should believe on him who's coming, which is Jesus Christ. Believe on him for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Wow. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When Paul placed his hand on them, the Holy Ghost, the power, the anointing, Holy Ghost power came on them. And they began to speak in tongues. They began to speak it down and prophesy. They all were about 12 men. Wow. That is interesting. Wow. That is great. John 20, 19, 23. On early on the first day of the week when the disciples were together because of fear of the Jews after Jesus came to them through the world and he said he showed them his hand he showed them and they saw that it was the Lord John 20 21 22 and I read Jesus said, Peace be unto you. As the Father sent me, I'm sending you. A lot of folks run and they won't wait. But Jesus said, Wait till you receive power from on high. I'm sending you. And with this, he breathed on them. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diploma College Center to all the ambassadors in the Embassy Centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.